Hi, this is Geert Jan from the Apache NetBeans project, and you are someone asking yourself how to get involved in Apache NetBeans. You don't know the NetBeans APIs, you don't know much about GitHub, you don't know much about Java even, but you want to contribute to this awesome project. Completely understandable. Go to netbeansapache.org and click on Get Help, and you will find yourself in the learning trails. Now, these learning trails are a close mirror of what you find in the original netbeans.org homepage under KB, standing for Knowledge Base. You will see there an index page with learning trails. We're in the process of moving these learning trails to the Apache site. And once these are all here, plus one or two other things, we'll be able to close down netbeans.org or in fact, redirect netbeans.org to go here. So whenever you go to, for example, the quick start tutorial, which is in the general Java development learning trail, you will not go here, but instead when you go there, you will end up at netbeansapache.org instead. And in fact, of this particular tutorial, there is one already in the learning trail. Now, this one is in fact that one. And you can see it looks much cleaner, much better than the original. The original was very wordy. Um, the screenshots are old. Looks a little bit weird here with these with these, with these uh, line breaks and, and indentations. All looks a bit messy. Looks much better in netbeansapache.org, which is where we want all the tutorials to be. Now, best of all is right at the bottom of each of these pages in the learning trails on netbeansapache.org is see this page in GitHub. So now I'm going to go to a different learning trail. So we have two up right now, or in fact three, Java SE applications. This is the old um, general Java development learning trail. And we also have the PHP and HTML5 applications learning trail, which you can see is here in the old one. And we also have integration with external tools and services, which is actually in the old one as well, right there. So these are the ones that we're starting with, since these are the features of NetBeans that are currently in Apache NetBeans. So it makes sense that we prioritize these before any others. Now, let's take a look at another a tutorial. We'll go in here, and you can see, again, that this is very nicely structured and so on. It looks really clean. There's a couple of problems still. Um, but what you see at the top here is this tutorial needs a review. You can open a Yero issue, very simple. You don't need to do anything other than open an issue, or you can edit it directly on GitHub and there are contribution guidelines. Now, if you compare that to the one that we were at earlier, what you will see at the top of where we were is that this has already been reviewed. So this one doesn't really need a review right at this moment. There's other ones that do this. So let's go to the next one. And this one has also been reviewed. So there's been an excellent review by somebody called Jeremy Cavanaugh. He's done a fantastic job on upgrading this particular document um, because now for the first time you can see which keyboard shortcuts are applicable to Windows or which ones to Mac OS X for each of these sections. This is probably the most important tutorial in the Java world for NetBeans because it describes all the features of the Java editor. So those two are looking good. When you go to the next one, and you'll see here this tutorial needs a review. So you can open an issue, edit it in GitHub. So an indicator of which ones to review are by taking a look at which ones have already been reviewed and maybe skip those and go to the other ones. Now, what do you do? Now, then you take this and you open Apache NetBeans either Apache NetBeans 10, which is the current release, or the upcoming release of which there is already a candidate available for Apache NetBeans 11. You open that up, and then you just go through these steps. And also you take a look at um, this, for example. Look at that. Here is step one, and there is step one again. So something's gone wrong here. This, should, this is step one, and that should be step two, logically. And then step three and step four. You can, you can see that in a number of the tutorials that haven't been reviewed yet, that the numbering is broken. Now you can go and look at the contribution guidelines. It's a very helpful set of instructions. And you don't need to read all of this, really not important um, to spend too much time getting into it. But you can see here that numbered lists, and you can see here one, two, and then you need to put this above step three. So the starting point is three. 
So just browse through this, but don't spend too much time on it. Browse through it a bit. Best of all, you might think, well, now I'll need to somehow check out the whole website. Not needed. Go right to the end, or in fact, click on that edit um, at the top there, edit in GitHub. But right at the end of, the, of each of the pages, you'll see, see this page in GitHub. So what you're going to do in this case is we're going to try and fix this problem here. So in creating a Java package and class file, we're going to fix that. That's all we're going to do. No need to um, improve the world. Just take small steps. So see this page in GitHub. So now here we are. And I'll take a look. OK, so here, this should be step three. So now I just go in here. I'm still, I'm not in my, I haven't done a clone. I'm, I'm straight on the Apache NetBeans, Incubator NetBeans website, um, GitHub. I haven't done any cloning, nothing like that. So I go in here, I take a look. OK, so this should be three. You can see that. So let's go to, to these contribution guidelines. And this is quite handy here. We can just copy it straight off here. So we copy this. And I go back here. And I put it right there. So let's start is three. Let's see if there's other suspicious looking bits and pieces here. So this there's an image there. So let's just make sure that the that the next part starts at two. Um, and let's take let's make sure that this next step starts at four. And so on. We just go through this a bit. Um, yeah, this is gonna be messed up. So let's make that one start at four. Um, well, we won't do all of them, but you get the idea. So we've cleaned up a little bit. So now here's the tricky bit. So all we do here is say we create a new branch. So I'll say um, fix some broken numbers. Now, I'm not going to mark this as being reviewed because you can't really say it's been reviewed. Um, so we leave everything exactly as it is. Um, so we haven't actually gone through the steps, but you've, you've done some fixes. Even this is very useful. So we say propose file change. And that's all we need to do. And then we say um, create pull requests, leave everything the way it is, or provide some information maybe. Um, we uh, added uh, some, some of those here and there, but certainly not complete. So not marking this as reviewed okay that's it leave everything as it is you can change this whatever you like it's, if you make a mistake no problem either because all that happens when you say create pull requests is that it's added to the list of pull requests so here here you can see jeremy kavanaugh with his great work he's done some formatting some changes so here's the one that i've just added so you can see where it's been which particular document has been changed um so in my case, since I am a committer on Apache NetBeans, I can say merge pull request, but you won't see this if you're not a committer. And that's it. All we need to see is a long list of pull requests here by people who have done various corrections. Now there's one final thing. You can see there's not much that you need to know. And um, that's, I mean, this is really all it is. If you go back to the tutorials, if you have really done a thorough review and you've, you've fixed various things and, and everything works as well, then what you will do is manually within the document at the top, you will say reviewed. This here is what you need to add. So we like seeing when the last review was done and also the fact that it's been reviewed. So then once you have this in there and that has then been merged after you do your pull request, and um, what you will then see is exactly what we see up here. This comes from that tag in the ASCII doc. So also that's the other point here, where before everything was in HTML, here everything is in ASCII doc. So it's an ASCII doc, it's on GitHub, and you can see working with this is really trivial. What we're not doing right now is adding new tutorials. We're not making massive changes. All we need for people to do is just work through the steps, clean things up, um, make sure it works, Maybe if you need, add some screenshots, and and that's it. Um, what we want to have in the end is all the tutorials reviewed. So the Java SE learning trail, and the PHP HTML5 learning trail, 
and we also ideally would want to have the Java slash Jakarta EE learning trail uh, fixed up too, since that's part of the upcoming Apache NetBeans 11 release. So you can see all you need to do is just go to one of these documents and just take the steps there. If you don't want to go and fix things in the ASCII doc itself, that's not a problem either. Open a Euro issue, go right in there, and then log in and create a new issue. That's it. In this way, together, we can make the Apache NetBeans documentation to be great. It's always been great, but we can continue to let it be great together. Thank you.